Good morning everybody from Disney, specifically Magic Kingdom. If you clicked on this, then chances are you are like me where you occasionally suffer from a bit of anxiety from the large crowds at Disney. So I want to emphasize this, that I am in no way a specialist. I'm not a therapist, I'm not a psychologist. All I can tell you are my tips and tricks that I use for when I go to Disney. Again, I just wanted to give a couple tips uh, for surviving at Disney if you do suffer a bit of anxiety. This is what I do, so if you want to see how I can overcome those moments of anxiety, then stay with me and let's go. Here's a freebie. Get your tickets beforehand. I cannot believe how many people are here to get a ticket. That's crazy, I've never seen this. My first tip for overcoming anxiety is instead of taking the monorail to head over to Magic Kingdom, go to the ferry boat. Head on over on the ferry boat because it can get a lot more people on there. Also for the fact that I don't want to scare anybody, but there have been moments where the monorail has broken down and people are stuck up. You know, if you've ridden the monorail before, how high it is, they've been stuck that high and not able to move for a, quite a while. And if you've ridden the monorail, you also know that sometimes the air works, sometimes it doesn't, it's very sketchy. So at least here on the boat, look at smooth sailings in here. Haha, <laughs> you like that, smooth sailings? But even if the boat here stops, then all you have to do is wait for another boat to come pick you up. And then you just transfer to another boat instead of trying to worry about transferring from way up high to monorail, I don't even know if they can do that. I think it's just a matter of getting it started again. Now that we have officially made it into Magic Kingdom, here comes tip number two. Tip number two is to avoid Main Street, if you need to. If you haven't been to Magic Kingdom before, there are three shows that happen here. And, well, okay, cool. Right here, we'll see some random citizens of Main Street. It is very, very crowded out here. There's a trolley car, in addition to some random citizens of Main Street. Instead of going through all these clusters of people, if this makes you nervous, especially if there's a show and it's even more congested, I recommend cutting through and going into the gift shop, where usually it is a lot less crowded and you can keep hopping in different gift shops all the way down Main Street until you get out to the end. Tip number three is one that I actually don't follow hardly ever, and that's to bring a friend. If you're going through severe panic attacks sometimes or just suffer from really bad anxiety, but I do know that sometimes having someone here with me kind of keeps my anxiety under control because they're taking my mind off of the crowds that are around me that are causing me to be nervous in the first place. So sometimes it's good to have somebody around with you so that they can kind of, you know, monitor you and calm you down and just take your mind off of it when you start to feel stressed. Do you like how I moved from one purple wall to another so that I could tell you number four, this may be helpful to bring some headphones or some like noise canceling uh, earplugs. Sometimes the crowd and everything and the noise can be a bit much. So if that is for you, perhaps bringing just your headphones so you can kind of listen to your own music and zone out while you're waiting in line and kind of create your own calm with your music, that's something I need to do sometimes. It's just go away and take a break from all the loudness. Tip number five, I cannot express this enough. If you are anxious and you don't want to wait in line, you got to plan those fast passes. In case you don't already know, you can get three fast passes initially. Now you wanna always try to schedule it for when you think you're gonna get into the park. Schedule your first fast pass. Your second one, you wanna to try to schedule right after that. And then the third, right after that one. And then as soon as you use your third one, you can keep getting fast passes one at a time. So you use the third one, and as soon as you use it, like when you're getting in the fast pass line of your third ride, you can start looking for that fourth fast pass to use for the day. And now I know for me personally, if I have to wait in a whole bunch of lines, it really increases my anxiety to be with all those people and wait. Tip number six is something that I do quite often. If being around all the crowds and the people outside of the park is getting to you, sometimes you need to step in and take a break. So make sure that you check out some of the awesome shows 
that Disney has to offer. There's still a lot of seating, so there's a lot of people in there, but at least taking a break and sitting down and enjoying some air conditioning and enjoying a little show instead of waiting in line could be helpful. And just a couple of those shows are, over in Frontierland, you have Country Bear Jamboree. In Tomorrowland, you have the Carousel of Progress. The Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor is a little comedy show with the monsters from Monsters Inc. And in Adventureland, there's the Tiki Room. And over at Liberty Square, they have the Hall of Presidents. Tip number seven, take a ride on the Liberty Square Riverboat. Obviously, if you are afraid of boats, I do not recommend going on this, but as you can see, there are not a whole lot of people on this boat, at least at this time. So, if you enjoy going on boats, I recommend maybe taking a little ride, a little, little ride down the river. Tip number eight, go to a restaurant. I don't know if you're like me, where being outside and the hustle and bustle is a lot sometimes. So if you can't afford a sit-down restaurant, I don't want to recommend a sit-down restaurant that's out of your budget, but usually you can get a reservation for the sit-down restaurant. If not, sometimes you'll luck out. Like me, I'm about to go into Skipper Canteen, and that's only five minutes for me at lunchtime. I don't know how I managed to do that. For, but even if you go to a quick service, go to one that you don't sit outside. One, you'll be in the heat, and two, you'll not really get a break from the crowds because you're constantly gonna be watching people walk back and forth. So that is my tip, to get out from the crowds and just kind of recollect yourself to go eat somewhere. Tip number nine, do not watch the parade from Main Street. The start of the parade, the Festival of Fantasy Parade at three o'clock actually starts over here to the left of Spas, Spas of Splash Mountain. It is usually very crowded on Main Street. Plus, I like watching the parade over here because this is where it starts. So you're not stressed and worried about when is it going to come and getting anxious because it hasn't made it yet. You're looking at your clock going, it's three o'clock, where's the parade? Because it has to start here before it gets all its way over to Main Street. So not only does that mean you get to see the parade first before anybody else with usually less crowd than Main Street, but that also means that you get to go over to Big Thunder and Splash Mountain with statistically lower wait times than normal because everybody's watching the parade. This is my favorite place to watch the parade. Tip number 10, take a trip on the People Mover. It's usually a pretty low wait. Also, if you're a solo rider, you get a whole seat to yourself. And it's nice to just kind of take a little tour around Tomorrowland. But note that if you're scared of dark places, it does go through Space Mountain where it's completely black. So if that makes you nervous, you might want to miss out. Tip number 11, do not watch the fireworks from in front of the castle. I'm not gonna be here tonight for the fireworks show to show you how crowded it gets over there. But you can see the fireworks from different parts of the park. So if you aren't die hard on seeing the projections, you can watch fireworks here and they actually shoot them off over here in Fantasyland. It's kind of like a 360 of fireworks all around this area. It's pretty nice actually. That is if you plan on doing some rides afterwards. If you don't plan on doing rides after the fireworks, then I don't know, you're kind of far from the exit and everybody on Main Street is gonna beat you to get out. But if you do want to do more rides afterwards, say the park is open later past the fireworks, like tonight they're at 9.15. What the hell, dude? They're at 9.15, but the park's still close till 10. You might as well be over here in the park, see some of the fireworks, and you can keep on riding some rides, and you'll get on there pretty fast. If you are planning on leaving after watching the fireworks, you don't want to be on the other side, like Fantasyland, instead of being way up, oh, did you see that lightning? It's about to come down. Oh, boy. If you don't want to be all the way up there, which it gets really busy all along here, just go to like the back. Go to the middle of Main Street. Cause you can still see the fireworks and still see the projections. If you want video, it'll just be a bit far away, but you can still get a really good view. And then 
then you're also really close to the exit and you can turn around and leave and head out before anybody else. Last but not least, number 12 tip. We circle back to number one and take the ferry boat back. This tip is especially if you are leaving at park close with everybody else that is trying to get out. It is a madhouse and you'll come out here and go, what in the world is this cluster of people trying to get onto the monorail, trying to get onto the ferry boat. But from experience, I can definitely let you know that you were definitely gonna get on the ferry boat a lot quicker because you can fit a lot more people than you can on the monorail. So I hope that you found these 12 tips useful. Again, all I did was give you suggestions on things that I personally have done before and do to this day to help me when I start feeling stressed start feeling like I am being overpowered by the amount of people that are in the park and that I just really need a break. If you enjoyed it, please show me so by giving me a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time with another helping of a burger with everything.